let me live my life. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the Bougie Circus. I am your host, Tenna Jenner, Tenna Chris Jenner. Channeling my inner Chris Jenner. Why? Because she's bougie, I'm low-key bougie. She wore a fur in her campaign, I own a fur. It's not real fur, it's fake fur. So, no animals were harmed in the making of this film. However, yes, feeling a little bit bougie. What did I get my hands on in today's video? I got the entire Kris Jenner Kylie Cosmetics collection and I'm gonna be going over the full thing in today's video. We're gonna do all the lip swatches, we're gonna do the eye swatches, we're gonna do the full shebang. So if you wanna follow along on this bougie trip, on this makeup review, then go ahead and keep watching so you can see how I got this eye look, what I thought about all the products in here, and basically, if you should get it too, grab yourself a glass of wine because this is gonna be a little bit of a trip. We're gonna have some highs, we're gonna have some lows, we're gonna have a whole bunch of things. So, basically, if you would like to continue watching this, I can suggest you keep watching it because why would you not look at me? I scream bougie, right? No, not really. There's nothing bougie about me, but I like to pretend that I am. So, if you like to keep watching, keep watching. Otherwise, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, hello, look at me. Why would you not? It's pure entertainment. I like to make myself look like an idiot so that I can make you guys laugh on my channel. So, go ahead and keep watching. Otherwise, we're going to go ahead and jump right off into the video, you guys. First time that we can fix it. It's Alright you guys, let's go ahead and jump right on into these products. I'm a little bit skeptical about some of these. Some of these formulas I know work extremely well. So we're going to see how some of these things go. So first things up, um, I already do have my face and my eyebrows and stuff like that done since there's nothing in this set that really, um, you know, encompasses putting your face on except for the blush and the highlighters. Um, so basically what comes in this is you get a pressed powder palette, which is this guy right here. It is so cute. I live for the packaging and the details of this entire collection. So basically you've got a bunch of a little Kris Jenner's with the holographic glasses and stuff on it. Super, super cute. This guy goes, according to the Kylie Cosmetics website, goes for $48. Everything that I know of so far is currently sold out on the website, except for the um, lipstick, which we'll go over that shortly. So basically, um, we will go ahead and open this guy up. Um, and basically, it's very, very cute packaging. It's this nice matte white packaging. And then on the front, in um, black glitter, it says, you're doing amazing, sweetie. It's so funny. All of these are just basically captioned with a lot of Kris Jenner's like famous sayings and I'm like here for it. Honestly, I'm pretty sure like Kris Jenner is like my favorite Kardashian, even though she's not a Kardashian anymore, but like she's the one that I relate to the most. So basically if we go ahead and open this guy up, we have got this little plastic dude in here. And so we open it up and you've got this nice bright big mirror on it and basically this is what the product looks like inside of there. It looks like you get two blushes and two highlighters um, and it looks like this one right here might actually be a blush topper because it's got a little bit of shimmer in there. So we're going to go ahead and try these guys out. Um, this first um, highlighter here is called it's Snowing Pussy Willows. This one is Money Doesn't Grow on Trees. This blush is Your Sister's Going to Jail and this one is I Raised You on Mac and Cheese. So let's go ahead and try this out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take a nice big old fluffy a blending brush or blending a nice fluffy blush brush so I'm gonna go ahead and take this I'm gonna dip right on into there um, and you can see a lot of product comes off so I'm gonna go ahead and take this and just dust this on the cheeks I have a feeling this isn't gonna show up on me because I am not you know like ivory white so let's go ahead and take this and just kind of put it on and as expected you can't see anything at all so that sucks. I mean, realistically, unless you're like super, super fair skinned, um, I don't really think that you're gonna see much happen to your face here. Let's go ahead and try like a finger swatch of this on my arm. And it looks kind of like chalky almost. So basically if you look at it there, yeah, like it barely shows up on me on the camera. So that's very light. So I don't expect it to show up. Um, this sh this topper one right here, this uh, I raised you on mac and cheese. I'm going to go ahead and swatch that one with my fingers. I'm going to go ahead and do that there, which you can see that one a little bit better. Um, still a little bit light. So I'm going to take a little dab of that and try that on my cheeks as well. Oh, 
um, it gives like a little bit of color, but nothing like noticeable by any means. Hmm. So it gives like a little bit of color, just a hint, but nothing crazy, which I'm not a huge fan of blush anyway, so it's not like I'm looking for this crazy blush moment, but um, yeah, you can't see anything. So basically, um, I think that the blushes are kind of a flop unless you are like the same color as this palette. Otherwise, I think that's the only way that's going to show up on you. Otherwise, let's go ahead and try these two highlighters. Let's go ahead and finger swatch this one right here, which is Money Doesn't Grow on Trees. So we go ahead and take that. I'm going to swatch it here. Hello. It's nice and bright. And then the next one here is It's Snowing Pussy Willows. Let's go ahead and take the finger here and swatch it underneath that one here on my arm. So basically that is what they look like. This one has a little bit more of a silver, um, you know, sheen to it. The other one's a little bit more golden. So let's go ahead and take a nice little, little highlighting brush. I'm going to go ahead and dip into It's Snowing Pussy Willows right here. I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of that and we are going to go ahead and highlight the face. So it gives a little bit of, a little bit of highlight, not as blinding as I would like it to be. Um, and I don't feel like it's melting into the skin as nicely as it should. It's a little bit glittery and a little bit patchy. At least this shade is. It's not nearly as blinding as I would like it, but there's a little bit of something there. I do think that it's a little bit glittery. Um, let's go ahead and take, um, money doesn't go on tree, grow on trees right here. I'm going to take a little bit of that and just layer it on top and see if, holy shit, see if that makes a difference. There we go. We got a little bit more of a blinding highlight there. So basically there is, there is definitely a nice um, highlight with that one right there. I will say like, I like the blindingness of it, but I do think that it's a little bit glittery. Like it's not that like seamless, like melted into the skin highlight. I think it's a little bit chunky. I mean, if you're into that, then this might be a palette for you. Um, otherwise, I mean, it's, it's, it's all right. I, I, no, it's not all right. Tennis, stop lying. It's not all right. Um, none of this shit works for me. I mean, I think that this was the best one out of the entire thing, this specific highlighter right here, because you can actually see it. But again, I think that it kind of, it doesn't blend very well and it's a little bit glittery thing going on. And I don't like glittery highlight. I like that, like that, oof, that oof kind of highlight that you get from like liquid highlighters, things like that. So this is a flop for me. Um, let me know if you have this at home and if it works for you. I'm pretty sure that these blushes are only going to work for people that are like super fair. This is not going to work on you if you have any type of melanin or tan on your skin. It's just not going to work. It's just not going to work. So um, the most part, realistically, I'll be honest. I bought most of this because I'm a huge fan of Kris Jenner and I was like living for the packaging and I think it would make a really cute like collector's item. So I don't know if my hopes are necessarily high and I'm gonna, I'm, you know what, whatever. It is what it is. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna put it out there because I'm not kissing anybody's ass in this industry. If you decide to put yourself out there and you put products out there and you're not putting out quality product, I'm gonna fucking call out your shit. Um, I think that they're really good at selling their name. I think the entire Kardashian brand is really good at selling their name. And if you've noticed lately, Kylie is turning out products like it's nobody's business. Like every week is a new release and I feel like they're half ass thought about. The quality is going downhill. Um, all of her eyeshadow palettes to me, I think like they're 50-50 hit or miss whether they're gonna be good or not. If we wanna rewind all the way back to Christmas time when I tried out the Naughty palette and pretty much threw it across the room in my video because the formulas were such shit in that palette. It is the worst eyeshadow palette I've ever worked with to date. If you're able to make it work for you, then cool, that cool, but uh, it, it was just shit formula. So I am very worried about the eyeshadows in this palette. So we're going to try that one out. Um, otherwise, so basically the face palette is somewhat of a flop for me. I mean, if I really had to use anything out of it, it would just be that one highlighter. And I think that that's kind of ridiculous. I'm not going to pay $48 for a palette that I can only use one shade out of. So it is what it is. Um, and the next thing that I was like low key worried about, um, is the eyeshadow palette, which I'm surprised it's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. For some reason, I thought it was going to be like a bigger, like square palette and it's like tiny. Um, this guy also goes for $42 and I'm a little bit mad that this little tiny thing is $42. I thought we were going to get like a bigger 
like eyeshadow palette with bigger pans so you're getting this little tiny guy which granted it's cute you've got Kris Jenner's face on there um, she's got her 10% glasses because she gets 10% of you know all of her daughter's income and what they make so basically let's go ahead and open this guy up um, and then again on the palette it looks exactly the same so if we go ahead and open this guy up it says I have one word for tonight vodka which is cute and I'm sure that we've seen this all over the Kylie Cosmetics Instagram so basically it is a cool toned palette I was kind of excited for the colors in here um, I remember a really long time ago like my steez was 100% doing a smoky eye with cool tones so I'm kind of interested to play with this and see what kind of look I'm probably just gonna do like a simple little smoky eye with it um, so we're gonna go ahead and play with these let me go ahead and swatch some of these colors for you guys so we can kind of see how they swatch I know you guys want to see swatches um, so let me go ahead and get up so I can swatch some of these colors and then we will go ahead and do a look on the eyes with it looking at it here let's go ahead and swatch this red one right here um, it is in the color very nice so you take your finger here and then take it and we're gonna go ahead and swatch it right here which that one swatches beautifully I feel like her shimmers always um, swatch very very nicely um, the next one in this palette here is It's an Emergency, which is this kind of uh, taupey color. So let's go ahead and take out our finger. They seem kind of chalky. Let's go ahead and swatch there. So it looks a little bit darker than I thought it was going to be. Sorry, my camera's focusing in and out all weird. Um, the next one in here is Gorgeous. Let's go ahead and take that one. Swatch it down my arm here. Yeah, so the shimmers are coming out really, really pretty. Um, let's go into this I Love Myself, which is another like nice little nude kind of color right here. Let's go ahead and swatch that right here. Yeah, some of these are a little bit chalky, but I mean, we'll see how they work on the eyes. Um, this one right here is the color Haters, which this really reminds me of that white color out of the holiday palette. And I feel like it's going to swatch like a bunch of shitty chalk glitter. So let's see what it looks like. Let's go ahead and take with our finger. It's already looking like shitty chalk glitter. Go ahead and swatch. Oh, it's actually kind of pretty. So I lied. Liar. So that's what it looks like there. Um, and I want to go through all of these because these kind of all look the same. Let's go into like I'm watching you, which is this nice kind of like gray um, matte with glitter in it. Just that guy right there. And then let's go in to this last one. Does it come in black? Because I am a huge stickler of blacks. If it doesn't swatch well, like this looks like it should be a deep black, but I'm, and I'm hoping it is. So let's go ahead and take this on the finger. And it looks to be pretty black so far. Let's go in and we will swatch it right here. So there it is. And it looks to be a pretty decent black. It's not the blackest I've ever seen. So they swatch okay. So I'm not as worried about it as the Naughty palette looked a while ago. So they swatch pretty okay. So let's go ahead and do an eye look. Interesting, so I'm wiping this off of my arms, you guys, and the black won't come off. Like at all with makeup wipes. And this is like Neutrogena makeup wipes and it won't come off. Hmm. So you might have some staining. Let's go ahead and jump right on into this palette. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a nice little fluffy blending brush. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and prep my lids. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a lighter base than what I've got going on. So I'm gonna go in with the matte paint pot in the color Paint Chili, and I'm just gonna go ahead and prep my lids with this. All right, so we've got a little bit of a lighter base there on our eyes, that way we can make some of these colors pop a little bit more. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a nice big old fluffy blending brush. I'm gonna go in with a Morphe M576 brush, and basically I am kind of looking at this shade right here, which is um, Payback's A Bitch, or is, do I wanna go into It's an Emergency? Which one do I want? Let's go into the color It's an Emergency, which is this one right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and dip into there. There's a lot of fallout. Um, so if you want to kind of zoom in there, you can see if I kind of do this with the brush. There's a lot of fallout. Yes. And then even if I like, see that? So much. Let's go ahead and take this and pop this into the crease and blend it on out. Huh, that ended up an interesting color. It's kind of gray almost instead of like a taupe. Well, these come out like different than what they look like. Like, am I crazy or does this not look like a brownish kind of a taupe color right here? That's like a brown taupe color. It's coming out gray. Okay, trickery. It's like magic markers. 
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with a little bit of Paybacks a Bitch as well, which is um, a little bit more of like a pinker shade. Um, this one also has quite a bit of fallout, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this and pop that also into the crease. Which that one seems to be a little bit warmer. I mean, granted, they're both pretty, uh, you know, cool tone, but it's a little bit more of a warmer version of that color. So a little bit difficult to blend. Bring in reinforcements to blend this out. I don't know. They're blending a little strange, guys. Yeah, it's hard to get that like seamless blend with it. So these definitely blend out to be more of like a gray. They're definitely not a nude like how they look in there, which is fine. You know, I'm a little bit into like horror stuff and I'm a little bit of like a weird creepy kid so like I'm kind of into the dead look anyway so whatever but I wasn't really hoping for a dead look today but I've got this line right here that I'm trying to blend out and literally cannot blend out like this is blending like absolute crap it's like wherever it lays its hat is its home this damn shade is a rolling stone all right, we're gonna move on because it doesn't wanna budge. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with another little bit of a tapered blending brush. I'm going with my MAC 224 blending brush. I actually wanna go into this color right here, which is I'm watching you, which is this gray kind of metallic. That has a lot of fallout as well. These shades have a shit ton of fallout, you guys, which like I'm okay with fallout sometimes. I feel like um, a lot of shadows will blend a lot better and you get a little bit more pigment out of things with fallout, but this is a little bit excessive, I think. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this, which this seems to be a little bit of a pigmented color. I'm gonna go ahead and take this and just kind of blend it into my outer V and into my crease. This color is a little patchy and hard to blend too. These colors are a little bit difficult to blend, you guys. I'm not gonna lie. Like I feel like I don't know how to do makeup right now. Let me zoom in a little bit more so you guys can see what I'm doing. I zoomed in a little bit more and you can kind of see that it's like not blending very well. It's a little bit patchy. Like see this big old patch right here? I've been sitting here trying to like work with it and it's like I'm having a really hard time trying to blend it out. Yeah, I cannot blend this patch out right here on this lid. Like it is there to stay. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with a little tiny, tiny blending brush. I'm going with the Morphe E17 brush. I'm gonna go ahead and take that and dip on into the black in here, um, which is, does it come in black? Let's go ahead and dip into there. Again, a shit ton of fallout. Let's go ahead and pack that into that outer corner and just kind of deepen it up a little bit. I've seen blacker eyeshadows. You know, these shadows are blending kind of like shit. Like, pretty bad. I'm gonna go in with a, the big fluffy brush and I'm just gonna go ahead and take that and just kind of try to blow this out a little bit because it's starting to look a little crazy because it won't blend. I mean, eventually it gets to a point where it does blend out, but like, I don't have 30 minutes to sit here and blend out three eyeshadow shades. Like, it should blend out a lot easier than this, I feel like. All right, let's go ahead and try to save this look um, with some of these shimmers. Um, this one right here, Vodka Tonic, is really speaking out to me for some reason, so I'm actually gonna take that and apply it with my finger to the lid, um, that inner corner lid area. So let's go ahead and take some of this. I'm gonna go ahead and press it onto the eye. Which, that's pretty. That shows up really nicely. I feel like her shimmers always kind of work pretty well. But some of her mattes, man, are a little bit crazy. Either they're like really shitty or they're like overly pigmented and won't blend out. All right, you guys, so that is basically the eyeshadow. Let me go pop on some liner and some lashes and I will be right back to give my final verdict of this palette, which if you can't already guess what it is. Uh. All right, you guys, we are back. I was able to save it a little bit with some eyeliner and some lashes. So we definitely got this like nice little smoky eye moment going on. Frankly, I think that this palette is shit. It is what it is. Um, I think that it's kind of shitty. I think that the colors have a shit ton of fallout with them. I think the shimmers work okay, but as far as the mattes go, the blendability on them is crap. Um, 
when I went off to do my eyeshadow, I kept looking up this line here that the gray and the black are making, and I literally can't get it to blend out. Like, I've been sitting here blending and blending and blending, blending to the point that I had to get shadows out of another palette that I know blend well and just kind of blend it into there just to get a little bit of that transition. But these colors do not blend for shit. Um, like, come on, Kylie. Like, do better. Like, you can't just churn things out and put a cute face on them and just sell them if it's going to be a crap product. Granted, the packaging, I live, die, breathe for the packaging on this. But, like, did you even try this when you made it? Like, did you even take this and try it on yourself? Because I can tell you right now that this palette's a little bit frustrating to work with. Um, and, you know, I'm trying to be as unbiased as I can after watching other, um, you know, beauty gurus do a review on this as well. And they didn't like it. They found it to be patchy. They found it to be not easy to blend, things like that. And I feel the exact same way. Like I said, the shimmers in here, beautiful. I think they work extremely well. They're extremely pigmented and they go on very well. But the mattes, the black in here, um, all these, they blend like crap. They're patchy. They just, bl they blend like crap. So this is a no-go for me. Um, the next thing that is in this is we're going to go over all the lippies. So we're going to go move this to something a little bit more positive because I do own quite a bit of the Kylie Cosmetics lippies, things like that. Um, and I know that they are a good product. So the first things up is the Momager uh, lipstick bundle, which according to Kylie Cosmetics, this guy goes for $42. Um, so if we go ahead and open this up, basically this is what it looks like. I was a little bit surprised because the lippies that are in here are actually very, very small. So don't think that you're getting like any like large size type lippies that are in here so if we go ahead and open this guy up um basically this is what the size of one little one looks like so basically when you get those little like ipsy or those little like tester mascaras like that's basically the size of it it's pretty damn small so basically what you get in this entire set is you get one matte liquid lipstick, you get four velvets, and then you get three glosses, which I will admit her velvet liquid lipstick formula is to die for. She has perfected that. It is amazing. Um, and her mattes are also very, very good, and so are her glosses. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of a lipstick montage for you guys. We'll go ahead and try these out so you guys can see what all of these look like. Um, the first one that is up is this one right here. It is called That's Wild. This is a velvet liquid lipstick, so let's go ahead and try this guy on. So basically this here is the first color. This is That's Wild. It is a liquid, um, a velvet liquid lipstick. It's very, very comfortable. One swipe coverage, very, very fully pigmented. And it looks to be just a very bright classic red. I'm here for it. I think it's comfortable. Let's move on to the next color. Next one in here is the color Boss, which is the one matte liquid lipstick formula that is in here. It is supposed to be a classic red color. Let's go ahead and try this one. So this is the color Boss. It's a very, it seems to be more of like a bright red more than a classic red. I think this is a very, very pretty color. Once again, one swipe coverage. I think it's pretty, um, definitely not with this eye look. I'm hoping for more of a neutral with this eye look because the eye look is a little bit dark on its own. But this is the color Boss. All right, next one up is going to be the color Middle Finger, which looks to be a little bit more of an orangey red. There's a lot of reds in here, but Chris, she's known for wearing her red. So let's go ahead and try this one. All right, here's the color middle finger. This one seems to be a little bit more of a fluorescent red or of a deep orange type color. Not really like my type of lip color, but I can see myself playing with it this spring. Again, this is a velvet lipstick color. So let's go ahead and move on to the next one. The next one in here is the color Overwhelmed. So let's go ahead and pull this one out. Ooh, yes, this one's a little bit more of a vampy nude color. So now we're starting to get to my, my range here. Now we're getting into a little bit more of my favorite shades. So this one right here is in the color Overwhelmed, which I like it. It seems to be a little bit more of a deep berry color. Starting to get a little bit more on that vampy goth side that I tend to steer more towards, which is very pretty. Let's go ahead and wipe this one off and we'll move on to the next color. All right, the next one in here is the color Too Blessed, which also looks to be a little bit of a nudie color. This one seems to be a little bit more pink, so let's try this one. This one here is the color Too Blessed. This one seems to be a little bit of a nude pink color. Not really up my alley, but I can see it being cute for like an everyday kind of spring look. But again, I'm into the very nudes or like the deep vampy colors. So let's wipe this one on, move on to the next one. Let's go into a gloss. This is in the color This Is Everything. Lips are starting to fall off, you guys. So let's go ahead and do this. This one has the brush doe foot on it. So let's try this one. So here is This Is Everything. My lips are a little bit pink because they're tinted from trying on all the lipsticks, but this is just like a general like nude gloss. I think it's very, very pretty. Um, it's very pretty for like every day. So let's go ahead and move on to the next gloss. 
Next one in here is called Driving Me Crazy, which this one seems to be a little bit more of a pinky gloss. Oh yeah. So uh, this gloss is a little, little not for me. It's a little bit light and it's actually really patchy. Um, it's more of like a light uh, pink and I don't like this so I want to take it off. But um, so far I like all of them but this is just a miss. I just think it's just like the wrong shade for my skin tone. Let's move on to the final color in this box. Final one in this one is really, it's another gloss. Let's go ahead and pull this one out. Which this one looks to be a little bit of a darker one so this one actually might be really pretty. And then here's the last gloss, which is in the color Really, um, which this one's actually really, really pretty as well. This looks to be the taupe version of the pinky one that I just tried on. Um, it's a very, very comfortable formula. Um, I do think that they're a little bit patchy when you first put them on, but I think that if you like play with them a little bit, then they do kind of melt into the lips a little bit better. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this off, and then we are going to move on to the final lip product of this entire collection, and we will go ahead and wrap this whole thing up. All right, we have it off. I had to go and re-foundation my mouth because I'd like wiped off all of my foundation and taking off all this lipstick. So the final two items in here is the lipstick and the lip pencil, which is in the colors Give Me a Kiss. I am like living for this lipstick. I think the packaging is so cute. Look at this. There's a middle fingers all over the packaging on this and I think it is the cutest freaking thing I have ever seen in my entire life. I love it. So basically when you open this guy up, this is what it looks like. It looks to be a very nice, pretty nude shade. So I'm hoping that this looks pretty when I put it on because I was hoping to finish with this so I could have a smoky eye with a nude lip. And then we've got the matching lip pencil to go with it, which is this guy here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take it. This is the lip pencil right here. It says Kris Jenner on it, on the pencil. It's very cute. So let's go ahead and take this. I'm gonna go ahead and align the lips and try on this lipstick and we will go ahead and wrap this up. And there she is. That is the nude shade Give Me a Kiss right here. It is very, very nude. I probably could have hit it with a little bit of a darker lip liner. Otherwise, that is it. That is the entire collection. Um, otherwise, um, oh, just to let you guys know on this one, um, this guy is still available on the website. So this guy is $17 and the matching lip pencil, which is sold out, is $12. So anyways, you guys, that is it. That is the entire collection. Just to kind of go back over everything, we had the face palette, which was kind of a flop for me, only because I feel like the colors in there would work really, really well for fair-skinned people. Um, nothing showed up on here except for the one highlighter, really. Um, so I would actually pass on this. Um, the eyeshadow palette, again, was a flop. I literally have not been impressed by any of her eyeshadow palettes that I've tried thus far. I think that her formulas are really dry and they're difficult to blend. So I would pass on this. I think the, the packaging on it's really, really cute. Um, personally, I think the entire star of the show for this entire collection is the Momager lip collection as well as the lipstick and lip pencil. I think that if there's anything to get out of this entire collection, it would be these two items right here. Um, we've already known that Kylie has really just gone and perfected that lipstick formula. So so all of her lipsticks are really really good whether they're matte, velvet, the lipstick, they're all one swipe coverage, very comfortable and that is the one thing that she's perfected and I think that these colors are very very pretty. Um, I think that they'd work well for a wide range of skin tone so if there's anything out of this entire thing that I would pick up it would be these two guys right here. Otherwise I'm sorry but I'm gonna have to, these two were a flop for me so sorry about it. Not really all that sorry about it. But anyways, I hope that this was a good review for you guys. I mean, realistically, it seems to be a repeat of everybody else that has done a review on this entire collection thus far. Because it's just... You need to work on your eyeshadow palettes, Kylie. They're not good. So, fix it. Otherwise, that is it, you guys. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys!